Are you wondering what to pack for a warm weather vacation? Maybe an island, maybe a beach? Well, I have a video for you, so stay tuned. Hi gang and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, I'm so happy you're here. Please scroll down and click that subscribe button so you won't miss any of the action that's going on. I also have a blog uh, where many of you go visit and get some inspiration photo wise and so I'm going to link that up as well. But today it's all about a warm weather vacation. Mr. Style and I recently went to Florida for five days and uh, the items are all lined up back here. It was a very tight agenda. It was a work junket plus um, some fun as well. We had drinks, we had dinner, we had um, a shopping spree and uh, a little bit of beach time too. So I've kind of thrown everything together at you. Uh, just remember I packed everything. It was not a carry-on. I'm not a carry-on person. I Nine times out of ten, I check my bag. I just don't like the whole overbin action and you know clogging up the aisles. So that's me. So this all went into a 24-inch spinner suitcase. Um, checked it through and then just picked it up. So we're just going to go through uh, item by item. And actually, it's really fun because um, I shop, I'm a classic style dresser, but I do like to check out a lot of maybe. Um, non-traditional brands like anthropology that a lot of people think are kind of boho but i love anthropology because they just have some really fun spins on uh spins is that a word on uh on clothes and um so i picked this up so this is a, a, a sleeveless top and it has a matching maxi skirt and i love to wear maxis when I'm on vacation, it just gives a, a just a nice little alternative for day or evening. But then, as, since this is a separate, I mean, it looks great together. And really, a lot of people thought it was a dress or a uh, mix and match. So I have a maxi skirt and a top anthropology, and I will link those up uh, down below. I wore that with these sandals, summer sandals from Ann Taylor White. So that was the first outfit. And then... Actually, I probably should have led with this first because this is what we wore on our first evening out. We, and uh, we had dinner with um, some lovely friends. If you don't know who Nicole Johnson is from Fresh Beauty Studio, I'm going to link her up. Go check her out. She's adorable. Uh, she has great beauty tips. Um, and she happens to live in Florida. So we uh, met up with she and her husband. And I wore this. So this is a jumpsuit. This is from J. Crew. Vertical stripes. Very elongating. And I'm also linking up some photos uh, that I shared on the blog with each of the items too. So, but what a fun, again, it's, it's like the maxi skirt. We don't necessarily always wear jumpsuits on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's really great to travel with perfect weather. Uh, I mean, perfect outfit for the weather in Florida. And we had dinner at the beach that night. So, uh, but then moving along. So this is also from Anthropology. Look at these fun pops of color. So this is a silk button up. I received so many compliments on this and I actually wore it with the, the white chinos that I'm wearing in the video. So this is for my shopping spree and, and I have these cute little flats. These are J. Crew. They're probably about 10 years old. So I'll link up something similar to that. So this was an adorable outfit. And I actually, so my handbag for this also doubled as my beach bag. So this is from Mark and Graham. have my initials on it and the little fun colors. And yes, my initials really are B.A.D. I am bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, so I'm going to leave these till the very end, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, but for evening cocktails, so a pair of black pants, so versatile. These are Dan von Furstenberg's cigarette pants, and I just popped a cobalt little fun flirty top. Again, this is from um, Anthropology, And then I had uh, these really cute striped shoes from Ann Taylor this summer and just the perfect little cocktail outfit. I also had a little black clutch bag that went with um, some other outfits too. So it was perfect for drinks one evening. And this was very fun for, this was a champagne brunch. So this is a skirt I found at Tibby. And you can see, I don't know, so when I came home, I'm a little distressed. I have to take it to the cleaners, but something got on it. I've been um, 
trying to spot remove it, but it, I haven't been very successful. But I love this skirt. I found this on our trip to St. Simon's Island this summer. It's very, very high waisted. So I actually picked a crop top. I'm not really a crop top person, but this was perfect over it. Gave it enough coverage. So this is again from Anthropology. This also has a matching skirt. Uh, but look how cute that is. Again, the black clutch went perfect with that. And I had um, some metallic little sandals that I popped on. So that was Champagne Brunch. And what else do I have here? Um, okay. So those were the items that I wore out uh, for evening dinners and uh, you know shopping spree daytime. But when I pack for vacation, I typically throw in a, one basic striped tee and one basic black or white tee. Why? Because they go with everything and so I can mix and match it with my chinos. I typically wear blue jeans when we travel on the plane. But then since we were going to Florida, it was hot weather, I packed a pair of white shorts. So then I had, you know, just some endless options there as far as styling. And then since I had on um, some white shoes, then I just threw those on as well. So that's just a little packing tip right there. And of course, every beach vacation needs a little swimsuit and a little swimsuit cover. So this is my cute cover up with giraffes. Actually it's a robe, but it just doubled as a cover up. I really thought it was a kind of a clever idea. Um, he needs some flip flops. So I have these jelly flip flops. These are just years old. So I have those, I'll link something similar. Up. I had my little beach bag. How cute is that? And then my swimming suit that I will um, show you. And this is a tankini. This is by, who's this by? I forgot. This is by La, La Bianca. So there's the bottom and uh, here's the top for the little tankini. Really, really cute. And it just looked adorable underneath this little cover up right here. So that you really pretty much covered it as far as, oh, wait, of course you need a hat. Of course, every hot weather vacation, you need a hat as far as um, that sun coverage. And I will actually include another video on how to pack a hat. So uh, many of you have asked me how you actually do that. But that covers my, pretty much my day to day and evening um, gear. But we all need sweet dreams when we're traveling. And uh, so I had this really cute polka dot robe from Kate Spade and then adorable Sweet Dreams PJs. These are uh, actually shorts and short sleeved and it says Sweet Dreams on it. So that was what I packed for our Florida vacation. As I said, it was five days, uh, four nights, five days, kind of jam packed. But um, next time you are wanting to go to some warm weather uh, or warm weather destination, just don't forget to add some sunscreen. Thanks so much for tuning in, ladies, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.